So anyways, Exhibition has sorry guys, get in here. Let's talk about Big Brother Canada uh, Season 9. Season 9, guys. Uh, so much, so much to talk about. So, so much to talk about. So we have, first things first, we have um, the captain's twist. The captain's twist. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the captain's, uh, about the captain's twist. If, I'm going to be putting this up on YouTube after, so if you're uh, watching this on YouTube... Play along as well. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of the Captain's Twist. For those that are live right now on our Twitch stream, I, uh, you can find me on, on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. Um, we do stream every single day pretty much. So come on by starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay. it's kind. Uh, I kind of like the twist as long as it doesn't last too long. Oh, no, Bruno, you did a dumb move. Now you need a new button or keyboard. I need a whole new keyboard, buddy. A whole new keyboard. Team Twist equals Forced Alliance. Okay. See, I, I can see... My picks are in trouble. I see. Here's the thing. I see how you guys see this, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna change your mind. I'm gonna change your mind. I see it so differently, dude. I see it so differently than this forced alliance and this and that. I see it way differently than that, guys. Uh, don't like the team twist. Okay. Yo, Jaybird, what's up, fam? What you saying? All right. I see it very, 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 very differently. Okay. So there's a few things I want to talk about. One is the, the for, for, before we get into the teams, what do you think about Canada's choice for the two team captains? What do you think about the choice of team, two team captains? First, I want to say, I hope Judson goes would be big for my draft. I don't like it either. I wanted to watch that. I'd watch Survivor. I don't see it as a forced alliance. I don't see it as forced alliance. I see it as it actually adds a lot of value, value to the game. And that's what I like. I think it adds value to the game and I'll explain it. I'll totally explain it. Uh, you were surprised about the two captains? Same. Same. Um, same and not. Yes and no. So, uh, Tina is from uh, Newfoundland. N Listen, I'll tell you right now, man. Newfoundland loves Big Brother. If you ever have someone from Newfoundland that comes in um, on the show, they immediately have full support. Like, you have no idea. They're rock stars out there. They're, they're, they get the support, okay? Um, so, I'm not too surprised. I'm surprised, but I'm not too surprised. Um... With, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what's the guy's name? What's the other guy's? The, the Kiefer. Kiefer. Um, uh, I thought Kiefer maybe. Just, so he has a ton of the indigenous support, right? From the natives, which is incredible. Uh, very supportive. So you can't, you can't sleep on those. Uh, just like Damon on season, um, season, uh, was it season seven? Season seven? Uh, season seven? You know, it's you can't sleep on it. So, which is great. I think it's great. So, uh, good captains. I think. I think that's. I think that's the right call because I think they would have been in danger. To be very, very, very honest with you. Yo, what's up, Rihanna? I think uh, they would have been in danger if they didn't become captains. I have so much to say about this. So, a lot of you guys don't like this twist. Can we put a poll? Let's put a poll up in the chat. Um, basically, we'll just say, do you like the team twist? Yes or no? Let's put it up for one minute. Let's see what you guys say. I'll keep talking for a bit. Uh, let's make this poll here. I'll make the poll right now. Uh, let's see. So a poll. Let's do. Oh, yeah, I can't even do it. My keyboard's so messed up. Cause someone make the. I can't even. My I spilt water on my keyboard four seconds into. I did a podcast with Karen, and I spilt water on my keyboard. My keyboard is messed. I can't even type anymore. Yeah, it's destroyed. Destroyed. Anyway, it's fine. No, for real. Yeah, yeah I can't even do backslash. I couldn't even. Anyway, it's fine. Um, it's a disaster. So. Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think about all this. So, do you like the twist? Yes or no? I want to know your guys' thoughts. Uh, I have a lot to say about it. I know the initial thought people are going to be like, uh, you know, yo, what's up, Wheelie? What you saying, fam? Superstar, what's up? Uh, I wish I hadn't decided. I wish I haven't decided was an option. I mean, that's fair, too. I mean, yes or no. It's, you know, this isn't too, this isn't like a trick question. It's not like too intricate. Just your first thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know what I mean? It's not like a trick question. Um, I actually do if it's for three weeks max. So here's here's my thoughts. It's a lot like Survivor. Exactly. Uh, I think life is telling you to splurge on a new computer. Dude, my keyboard... I, listen, I got to get a new keyboard, a new computer. I got... Listen, this is not a good... It's not good. It's not good. Uh, you love it. It's not going to last that long. Okay, so he, here's... Uh, how long is this... Uh, you put it up for too long. You put up that poll for a while. Let's keep them short, like a minute, uh, if you don't mind, but thank you. Um... Okay, so basically my thoughts on this on this is this, okay? Uh, I think it brings a lot to the table, a lot to the table, simply because, okay, um, I know people are going to be like, 
it, it's going to split teams, okay? It's going to split teams. This is their alliance. This is their, I think the complete opposite, okay? Because when they pick the teams like a schoolyard pick, okay, basically what those two captains were doing was ranking these players, all right? Ranking these players. If it's subliminally, subliminally subconsciously, you're telling every time someone gets picked first, then second, then third, you're ranking these players on their worth. If it's true or not, it's what you guys think what they're worth. Who's the better player going down? So Jedson and uh, and uh, Tashawn being the two top, that is that is bad for them. That is bad for them because what that's telling you is that's the best player on my team and that's the best player on your team. And uh, I'll tell you something, man. That's not good. That is not good. Now, because we know you win as a team and you lose as a team. And I love that. I love that because now it makes every single person on your team have to play. You have to play. If you don't play, you're in danger. And I like that because a lot of these players, they just they, they, they go through the season. They're a piece of furniture. They don't do anything. They just kind of wait until it's their turn to get evicted. Next thing you know, they're evicted. See you later. They're forgettable. Okay, they're forgettable. Uh, no, but here's the thing, Panda. Destiny will save Jetson, but why? Here's the thing. Okay, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, this is what I'm trying to get at. You vote as well. Your team votes. If you're on the block, you vote as well, and the other team votes. So you have everybody voting for somebody. So here's the thing. Obviously, uh, let's see. Nay, sixty-three percent. Sixty-three percent of you don't like this twist i think it's phenomenal to be very honest with you uh and no pov for how long well that that i think they could have added but let me let me get through this real quick here um okay so 63 percent of you don't like this twist i think uh i think you guys are looking at it all wrong because my initial thought was like kind of whatever yo what's up sly um okay here's the thing so you got jetson on one side and you have um tashan on the other side the two captains, or not the two captains, sorry, the two top picks. So the obvious choice, right, if my team loses, I want to go after, so say I'm on Tashawn's team, I say to ta- Tashawn's team, say I'm on uh, on Kiefer's team, they want to get rid of Jedson. That's their star player, that's their top player. It's rightfully so, you want to take out their biggest, comp- their biggest player, your biggest competition, because what it does is it gives your team a better chance to win these competitions, right? Uh, which I like that. Yo, what's up, Wolfman? What's up, Ari? What's up, guys? Um, I like that. You know what I mean? But here's where I like it even more is that even if your team loses, all of you still vote. So you want to keep your top guy or girl, whatever. In this case, you know, Jetson's a beast, right? You want to keep them. And I like that. I like that because you're trying to protect your competitors while the other team is trying to take out your competitors. But at the same time... But at the same time, for me, the play for for the the um, the, the winning team is to keep to, to keep Jedson. You want to keep Jedson, uh, so okay. So the only good thing is it will force out the weak players. No one is going to want non comp players. That's not true though. That's not true. That is not true even because there's there's you, you're forgetting the the alliance aspect in it as well. So this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. I know a lot of people look at it very narrowly, and it's like, oh well. The competitors are going to target the competitors or they're going to want to take out their weakest players. There's so many layers to this that that we it's it depends on their view on it. So put it this way, okay? You have Jedson and Tashawn, which started uh, the Undercover Brothers, right? They're, they're tight, right? They're boys, right? Um, but they're also on opposite teams. I like that. It forced them to be against each other. I like that. But at the same time, they still need to be each other's allies because, listen... If they take out Jetson this week, who's the biggest fish to fry after that? It's Tashawn. There's only one left, right? So for for me, Tashawn needs to keep Jetson in the house. Even though he's on the other side of the house and on the other team, he needs to keep him in the house so that target doesn't go on Tashawn. This is what I love. It's the, those layers. So the team wants to get rid of the weakest players when they lose. The weakest player obviously doesn't want to be the weakest player. They know they're the weakest player. They want to take out somebody else. And the other team has a lot of say in it as well, where they probably want to take out the biggest player. But someone like Deshaun doesn't want to take out the biggest player because then now he's the biggest player. There's so many layers to this. And I think people need to open their eyes. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yo, this is the, I love this twist. I love it. I love this. 
Uh, I think you're giving them too much credit for... No, no, no. Trust me. Holly, when you're in the house, you think of these layers. Sitting on the couch at home, you don't think of these layers because to you, it's just like, yo, um, this is what they got to do and, and it's not that easy. When you're in the house, you have so many... You're thinking of every scenario. I mean, you should be. You should be thinking of every scenario. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, that's the biggest player. Take him out. Okay, next. It doesn't work that way. So... um, like I'm saying, Deshaun needs to keep Jetson. Jetson needs to keep Deshaun because they were the first picks. Now, if they're the strongest, if they're the strongest player or not, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, in the house's view, in the house's view, they were picked first on each team. They're the biggest fish in the in the house. That's what it is. They're they're basically the star player on each team. I'm hoping that HOH and Vito will come into play alongside the team twist. See, I, I don't understand why they don't have a veto. That that part I still don't understand because to me. That adds even more to the table where, you know, your team... So you win as a team, you lose as a team. And now that you lose as a team, you have to play veto against each other. So you're on the same team for the HOH comp. You want to win. You want to help each other, encourage each other. But if you lose, you go play a veto against each other. Now they go from your allies to basically your opponents because you need to win that or else you can get voted out. I, I think they need... I think they need to put the veto in play. I think they messed up with that. I think that's where this twist kind of made a mistake. They need to have that veto still in play. Um, so, uh, you know, you play HOH together as a team, and then you play veto against each other, and I like that. Um, I, I don't know why they didn't do that. So, again, I don't know if they're doing... I don't know all the details. I don't know all the details. But uh, I don't know if, like, on eviction night, everybody on that team is up for eviction, or if they're going to find two people from the team to put up for eviction. I don't know that. That's that's the part we don't know yet. So, but if everybody's available, think think of think of how the game can evolve right here. To me, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's a really 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 good twist. I'm here for it. I love it. Uh, again, because if you're playing in these HOH competitions as a team, you as a as a team want to keep it strong. The weakest link is, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link. That's what, you know, that's what the the, the saying goes, right? And uh, I love that. So if you're on the, the losing team, you want to get rid of the weak player. The one that's, that's, that's weighing you down. That's not bringing anything to the table, of course. But does that person, now you want to get rid of them. The other team obviously wants to keep them. They don't want to get rid of your weakest players. Why would they do that? There's also alliances that are going to intertwine. Um, there's just so much. There's so much uh, going on the table, man. I love it. No way Tashawn gets rid of Jetson. Plus, as long as Jetson can get Austin's vote, he should max out votes for him. Um, Vito would be nice if it uh, was just one person who can take themselves. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you basically what you do is you play a veto against your team. If you win, you're safe. They can't vote you out. That's it. There's no, there's no two ways about it. There's no, you don't use it. If you win veto, you win safety. I think that's the way to do it. What I said, the team that loses will want to get rid of the weakest. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is so the, the team that loses wants to get rid of the weakest. But if you're the weakest person on your team, you know that. You know you're the weakest person. You're like, yo, they're going to target me. You need to make friends on the other side. You know the other side is going to want to take a shot, not at you. There's no point, right? They want to take a shot at the big dog. So now you become a number for the other team and take out the big dog. But the big dogs on your team don't necessarily, maybe they do, but don't necessarily want to take the big dogs out on the other team. Instead, you keep each other safe. You grab a few more people. Grab some people near the bottom, whoever, it doesn't matter. But the two big dogs need to pull in numbers from both sides to control the votes. Take out people in the middle. So when it comes push to shove, or maybe it turns into one tribe or whatever you want to call it, one team, you have the top dogs, you have the bottom the bottom uh, people, and everyone in the middle is kind of uh, uh, out. You know, I mean, in a perfect world, obviously, you know, things happen and change as, as the game goes on. But, uh, dude, the big dogs need to protect each other. They have to, or else they're screwed. Um, if, if they think that, if they think about it, because that's, if you're in there, if you're in there right now, that's what all these people need to be thinking. If you're at the bottom right now, technically, if you're on the losing team, uh, you, you technically have a lot of power, uh, enough to the point where you got to say, yo, listen, my team wants to get rid of me. They, they, they see me as the weakest link. They don't want to work with me. Use me. Like I, I'm, I need people to work with. My team doesn't like me. Come use me. You know, and then eventually, and, and by doing that, you become a valuable number to the other team. I think the twist is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, eviction is tomorrow. Yeah. So tonight was the premiere. Tomorrow is the eviction. And then normally what happens right after the eviction is um, uh, the live feed starts. I'm going to tweet this out. I can't, I broke my computer, my uh, keyboard, by the way. I broke my keyboard, by the way. Um, I'm just going to tweet this out real quick. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, ah, whatever. Never mind. It's okay. The, the season, 
uh, I like the start of it. Uh, I don't really expect Tina to get team captain based on what I saw on social media. I thought, well, here's the thing, Wheelie, and I, I explain this all the time. What you see on Twitter is actually maybe one, not even 1%, not even, not even 1% of, of Big Brother fans, man. Put it this way, okay? There's over, there's over a million people that watch the episode, okay? There's maybe, what, 1,000 people that tweet about Big Brother, maybe 2,000, if that. The Big Brother fandom is a, is not even one percent of the Big Brother community. Not even one, but they're the loudest because that's how you get your information, right? All of us do. We all go to Twitter to get our information, right? They're not even one percent. Not even one percent of of the, of of who watches the show, and and that's what people forget. They think Twitter because Twitter Big Brother is so loud. It doesn't matter. They're not. They're they're a very 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 small, very very small uh, percentage of who watches the show. It's over a million people an episode, and there's definitely nowhere near a million people tweeting about it. Not even close. Um, so anyway, I've converted your opinion on the teams. I think it's phenomenal. Those fans have been sat on Arissa's great tweets. Uh, I mean, no. Listen, I'm not saying it's you know either way. I'm just saying I just want people to remember that uh, I want people to remember that it is a small port. Even if it's tra- it doesn't matter, Greg. Even if it's trending, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Let's say twenty thousand people. Let's say let, let's say let's say twenty thousand people. I'll even I'll even throw it away up a number. I'll inflate the number. Twenty thousand people tweet about Big Brother. It doesn't matter. It's not. It doesn't even put a dent in it. It doesn't even matter. A hundred thousand people doesn't. Even, that's that's doesn't even matter. It's ten percent. A hundred thousand people tweeting is ten, not even ten percent. Um, but it's anyway. Um, Baby Can Nine actually. Yeah, those fans miss out. Uh, Undercover Bros big target. Uh, yes, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, yes and no. Yes, they're targets, but hopefully they're smart enough. To kind of deflect it, you know what I mean? Because they know they're the targets. Jensen right now should know he's the target. Uh, where can I watch the first episode? It aired, so it aired at 7 p.m. Eastern, so an hour and a half ago. Uh, it should be airing again in another hour and a half for the West Coast. Um, you can watch it on. Uh, I don't know. There's uh, the you love. Uh, yo, that's a sub, Rod. That's a sub, man. Yo, things are good, man. We just watched that uh, Big Brother Canada episode. Uh, Big Brother Canada nine. Episode one just aired an hour ago. And anyway, I did a podcast with Karen right after the show. We filmed it. It was a phenomenal podcast. Phenomenal. Uh, the audio didn't work. So we were figuring things out. We fuck up. We're two old people. We don't know what we're doing, man. Uh, audio didn't work. So we're going we're gonna, to um, we're gonna figure it out. We're going to figure it out. And tomorrow after the show, I guess we're going to go live together. And we're going to do it together. But, yo, I'm telling you, man, this twist is phenomenal. Nikki, what's up? Victoria, yo, man, she killed it, huh? She killed it. She killed it. She killed it. Yeah, Victoria killed it, man. So this is, um, I think she did a phenomenal job, man. I think she's awesome. So here's the thing, for those that don't know, okay? So I know people are watching. You probably all think, you know, uh, Jensen and um, Tashawn had an advantage. You probably think, oh, they're strong dudes. They had a huge advantage holding those up, right? Everyone probably assumes that. Well, it's very wrong. It's very, very wrong. They don't. Everything is... Everything is evened out. Uh, yo, Toxic Venom, what's up, baby? Good to see you up in here, fam. How you doing? Yeah. Everything, every competition, every competition is always even, okay? These guys could have the biggest muscles, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They are holding the same weight compared to their body weight and size as the person beside them. It doesn't matter. So when you see... Uh, you know, a tiny girl or guy, or you see a big jacked guy or a t- whatever jacked girl, it doesn't matter. It's always, uh, everything is always proportioned to your body. Okay. It's always proportioned to your body. So I know people are sitting there saying, yo, Jensen and, uh, and Tashawn, how could they drop it? They're, they're beast. Listen to me, man. They're holding, they were holding the same weight to the proportion of them as everybody else, but they got dumped on with all the stuff. Okay. Um, which for me wasn't the right way to do it. I know how they all they all pumped up on uh, on Jensen. To me, if I was uh, I don't remember who it was that was putting the the, the stuff in there, um, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that, man. Spread it out, make everybody suffer. If you're just piling on one person, okay, you let that one person drop, no big deal. Who cares? Everyone else is still in there. You got to spread it out. You got to make everyone hold that little bit more where they're uncomfortable. Because what the weight is at now, yes, it's uncomfortable, but it's built for their body. Um, if you put a little bit more, obviously it's a little bit more than they're supposed to be holding in that, you know, to me, I would have spread it out everywhere. Uh, Kiefer said guys versus girls. Tina almost, ri- I know I was like, Oh no, dude, he's in trouble. 
Uh, guys versus girls. Yeah, no, you can't. No, no, not, not happening. No. Uh, you loved it. Or was that BB Can 2 with the button and bungee cord? Button and bungee cord. Well, I don't know which one you're talking about. Button and bungee cord. Oh, uh, button. Oh, that was BB Can 5. The one that Jackie won? That was the double veto, if that's what you're talking about, I think. And they had to pull it. Uh, unless that's something else. Uh, doing great. Just grinding, bro. Thanks. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. Things are going good. Things are going good, man. We're just talking some big brother. Yeah, I like the car comp. I don't remember that one. Uh, yo, Mr. Finesse, things are good, dude. Things are good. Things are good. Things are good. Uh, she was like, nope, nope, not happening. Who's that? Uh, oh, with, uh, with, yeah, with the guys versus girls. Things? Yeah, no, that's not. I can't even believe you brought that up. But I'll tell you, man, Kiefer uh, made me laugh when she's like, how are we going to fit in with these people? And he's like, dude, I barely fit in my clothes. Dude, I laughed. I thought he's a funny guy, man. Uh, it's weird, though, because Tina won right. Tina won right even though her strategy sucked. What do you mean? Oh, because she did. Yeah, I mean, it just it worked out. I mean, you know, it worked out. It worked out. But yeah, I agree. I think uh, I think loading on one person wasn't the play. It worked. But to me, that wasn't the play. I would have evenly spread it out. You make everybody suffer. Uh, just give them a little bit out of their comfort zone. I mean, it's obviously, like I said, it's not, they're not in their comfort zone regardless. But you keep them a little bit out of their comfort zone, they drop it faster. Kristen, what's up, man? For my first ever BB Can show live ever. That's awesome. Listen. For those that don't watch Big Brother Canada or haven't seen it before, this is your first time watching it, uh, be prepared to be blown away. The, the production value is, is just way better. The houses are way better. The competitions are way better. The players and the and the personalities are way better. And that's you know a little bit of a shot to the Americans, and I guess in a way. But um, our, our, our game, and listen, I know it says Canada at the end, and people are like, yo, it's impossible. It says Canada at the end. I promise you, if you haven't watched Big Brother Canada, and you watch Big Brother US, you're missing out. I promise you. Um, I think I was right. It was right to go for who is not struggling. Third hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or exactly. So if you, if one if you put all your weight into one person's basket, as soon as they drop, all that advantage goes with them. You know what I mean? All the advantage you're putting into their basket goes with, like, you know, all the advantage for your team drops with them. Now everybody else is is free. If you make everybody struggle. Even when one drops, you still have that advantage in everybody else. So, um, yeah. He didn't know how he'd fit in with them because he barely fits in his clothes. I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, I'm worried for my draft picks. Just in yeah, so that's the thing. With our with our, with our draft, we did a draft too. We did a draft too. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, it, it, it really throws a big loop into everything. Everything. Uh, BB Can is better. Way better. Way better. Uh, I think they will be okay, uh, but shall see. Boo, I'm rooting for your picks still. Um, all my picks are on Team Destiny. Uh, does the bare minimum to put on a show? You can tell they don't give a shit about the BBS, about the show. Listen, BB can, they bring it every single season. They bring it every single season, and it gets better and better. Now, here's my thoughts, too. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts for um, on the house? They, they redid, basically... Basically, what they did was they took BB Can 8, reskinned it, put a couple of plants here and there, and boom, BB Can 9. They even, uh, they even noticed, man. They even noticed. They even noticed, like, yo, man, this is the BB Can 8 house. Um, I'll tell you something, man. I know a lot of the BB Can 8 house guests are going to be very bitter, okay? It, that's normal. That's normal, okay? They're going to be very bitter. You're going to see on, on Twitter, they're going to be shit talking the house, and oh, that's my bed, or this is my room, or this is what I did here, and you know, this and that. And, uh, you know, th that's normal, okay? Uh, every year, you know, when I played on season four, when I when I played on season four, and, uh, or sorry, when I played on season three and then season four came, and you're looking at, you know, oh, that was my bed. You know what I mean? I slept there, or that was my whatever, you know? And that's that's normal. Then I went back for season five, and then season six, like the same thing. It's like, yo, these people think it's, it, this is my house, man, you know? Um, it, you know, that's that's normal. So you're going to see a lot of BB Can 8 being, you know, and, it, and it's normal. It's fine. Uh, when it first was released, I wasn't too impressed until I saw a thing that compared the rooms from last season to this season. It's pretty cool. Dude, they did a great job. I love the ball pit and the have not idea. The ball pit is fantastic. I think it's going to be an easy room to get away, you know, because they have the ball pit. Uh, basically, the have nots are going to push all the balls to the side, make a little bed with clothes. I mean, they should anyway. And, uh, dude, it's going to be fun. Um... Run in, run into any itch, issues? While, oh, uh, the, the oh, what's up, Fuzzball? Holy crap, man, Fuzzball! What's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, they have to sleep in the ball pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they gotta sleep. They have to sleep in the uh, in the in the ball pit. But they, I mean, 
there's always ways around it. There's always ways around it. Uh, you know, it's the, the have not rooms. They look good for TV, but I promise you, there's always a way to get comfortable in there. It's just the way it is. Um, yeah. So, uh, the have not room is my favorite room for game talk. It was wondering how that would go with all the balls. Uh, listen, I'm going to say it right now. I think there's something in that room, either inside a ball or not even inside a ball, but in the room, maybe the arrows have something to do with it. Maybe it's some kind of code. Uh, there's something, there's something to do in there that, that we just don't know yet. Um, but it's going to be awesome. Some of the balls looked attached to each other. So I was thinking there's probably like ball mattresses or something. I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you really like this room? Yo, Andrew, what's up, baby? Uh, Fuzz, man. It's good to see you, big dog. Holy crap, man. Good to see you. So, uh, okay. So what are your guys' thoughts? What are your guys' thoughts on on just the, the episode? I know half of it, it's tough. The first episode is always tough because we as, you know, I, I'm the same way. We watch all the bios. Uh, ahead of time so we already know who's going in but again you know there's a, a million people that watch a show that haven't seen the bios like me before i was on the show i didn't have twitter i didn't go on twitter and and get all the bios and watch them or go to the site and watch them. i waited till episode one that's when i'd watch the bios um so you know they have to do that obviously um half the show is bios and the intros and all that stuff and then uh and then, uh, you know, then there's the HOH comp. I thought it was phenomenal. I honestly thought it was phenomenal. I really, 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 really liked the season. I thought the intros were good. I thought everything was phenomenal. Um, I always, they always kill it with the openings uh, of the premiere. And tonight was no exception. I wish we saw more on how they interact with each other. But we will get that. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. For sure. Tomorrow. So tonight is always, um, you know, everyone's. Ha- Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. Pay attention to this. Okay, Listen to me right now. Pay attention to this. Um, focus on their faces and how happy they are. Okay, as the season pro as the season goes on, you see that that they're right now they're in cloud nine. They're just loving life. They're excited. They're happy. They they love everybody. Everyone just loves everybody. Fast forward a couple of weeks, dude, and uh, and you just see the looks. How tired they get. You see it on their face. They're tired. They're miserable. They're you know, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, one thing I do want to say, I wish uh, there was five minutes of games. Yeah, but night one, there's there's not much game talk. Trust me, what you see is night one. That's normal. That's night one, Trent. You don't see like I know people think. I know people think they go in and right away everyone's like, "Dude, we got to work together." Dude, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not like that. It doesn't work that way, at all. It's more of um. It's more of just everyone's just happy to be around, and then Arista gets on the thing, and everyone's just trying to get to know you, and they ask about your cats and your dogs, things that people just don't give a shit about, but they're gonna pretend they do, uh, because they want to break the ice with you, stuff like that. Um, I'll tell you, man, a lot of it's just bullshit conversations, nothing too serious. Uh, you want to get around, have these, these, these shitty conversations with everybody, pretend you like each other. Then you go into HOH, you play HOH. It, trust me, night one, there's, there's nothing to talk about. Um, welcome, uh, welcome aboard, Edgar. Welcome aboard, fam. Welcome to the family, my friend. Uh, thank you for hitting that follow button. Uh, I was really hoping for two returnees, but I think they're going to do a battle back. Yeah, I don't think there's two, uh, I don't think there's going to be two. More players. I think this is it. This is the cast. This is the cast. This is the cast. Uh, by the way, what do you guys think about the cast? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? What are your thoughts? Uh, the editing of the episodes are always great. It really draws viewers in. I, the editing is phenomenal. Whoever does it is phenomenal. The team does is phenomenal. I feel like you don't even want to talk much anymore. Never know who is spying. I mean, you just don't know. I mean, lot, I mean night one, everyone's just kind of very open and just, you know, talking about, like I said, cats and and uh, your family and just bullshit, you know. On a side note, you should have two new sound bites in your Discord messages. Oh, there you go, sweet, beautiful, beautiful. Tara and Victoria look like they're bonding. Uh, I love Tara, man. I, I I'll tell you right now. I know people are kind of whatever. I love Tara. I love her. Oh, it's Stream Raiders. I love Tara. I forgot about Stream Raiders, man. All right, Stream Raiders is up. Let me. I think this cast is filled with a bunch. Uh, sorry, let me see here. I think the cast is filled with a bunch of nice people and fun personalities. Seems people want to play the game too. Everything you want, exactly. That's what I'm hoping for, man. That's what I'm hoping for. I love the cast. Think they have great personalities. I agree. Nine out of ten. I mean, that's good. Uh, most like cast of uh, of all seasons so far. I mean, it's night one. You gotta you know you gotta relax a little bit. It is night one. Um, but I agree. Very likable cast. Um, I'm okay with the cast being smaller. It makes it a lot easier to know the contestants. Plus, it allows the season to not drag on too long. Uh, they're going to have some kind of buyback. Or, I mean, not a buyback, but something. something. They're going to throw something in there. It's not good. It's not looking good for my pick. Who's your pick? Um, aren't keyboards cheap? This one is uh, not a cheap one. This one's not a cheap one at all. This is a very good uh, keyboard. But yeah, I could just buy some cheap one for sure. 
Uh, who's your pick to win the season? Well, I mean, dude, that is hard to say, especially with the, especially with this twist. Very hard to say. Very, very, very hard to say because now it just throws everything for a loop. I like Beth. I actually like Beth. I know people are kind of whatever about her. I like Beth. I like Tara. Uh, I like Latoya. I like Deshaun. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Uh, it's so hard to, especially with the twist now, it just throws everything for a loop. You know what I mean? I'm excited for the police officer. That's Latoya. Uh, I really like Josh. Josh, Josh. Oh, that's one of my least, that's probably one of my least favorite. Not for any, like, I just, I don't know. It just is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, but but again, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now, Andrew, that can change. I don't know him yet. I don't know him. That goes for even my picks. Even for the people that I'm picking, I don't know them yet. We've only seen the uh, minute bio and we saw an intro video or an intro uh, episode. So we, we don't know them. We don't know any of them. So for all I know, um, Josh could end up being one of my favorite people. I mean, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. The only person I'm not a fan of is, is Rohan. And, and, and it's nothing personal. He just gives me the uh, AJ vibes. He reminds me of AJ, man. He reminds me of like the way how he thinks he's like he's gonna be something, and then he goes in the house, and he's not gonna be anything like that. You know what I mean? If uh, you have Prime Video, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial at Stack TV to get global to watch. There you go. Look at that, Rihanna. There we go. That's some good. Uh, that's some good tips right there. Um, yo, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, Josh, either gotta wait till I see more. Exactly. That's the thing. I don't know these guys. I don't. I don't know them yet. We don't know anything about. We don't know how they interact. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't know. I got Christmas vibes from Tara. Ooh, I hope not. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Uh, not a fan of Brayden. Yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of Brayden. I don't know. It just, I don't know. Josh's hair looked better tonight. I like Tina a lot too. Tina's cool, man. I like Tina. I like Kiefer. I'm glad they were the captains. I'm glad they were the captains. I like them. Uh, to Sean, I just liked, I think he's just a really cool guy. Uh, Tara, I like Beth. I like, I think she's got a really nice personality. I like it. Latoya, I like Austin. I, I, you know what? To be honest with you, I pretty much like them all, except for maybe like one or two. And I feel bad even saying that, because you know it's a, you know it's fine. But I pretty much like them all. Uh, feel empowered from Tara. I said the same. Kiefer hilarious. Not feeling good about his game. Deshaun just keeps winning me over more. Latoya, I think was good, not to win for her. And Rohan is done for. Um, yeah, I tell you, man, I don't know. There's a couple I just don't care for, but there's a lot of them that I do. There's a lot of them that I'm like, yo, there's potential, and I think they're going to do well, and, uh, you know? Yo, welcome to the family, my friend. Welcome to the family. Uh, don't be shy. Come join the conversation. We're talking some Big Brother Canada Season 9. The premiere started. Uh, the premiere was about a couple hours ago. Um, I did do a po- This is This is true. I did do a podcast with Karen. We were doing a podcast. Uh, we did it. We watched the episode. So Karen and I watched the episode together. Then we did a podcast together. And the, the the volume didn't record, man. The volume didn't record. So I'm going to just zip through this. I'm going to redo it here. Tomorrow we're going to do another one. We're going to figure out the uh, audio problems. We're going to do it again. Uh, and uh, it, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. All my draft picks are safe. So I'm going to ask again because I did ask at the beginning of the stream. What are your guys' thoughts? Just, just you can answer right in the chat. What are your thoughts of the... Um, the uh, the team twist. I want to know what you guys think. Cause I know a lot of people like they don't understand it, they don't like it. Um, I kind of broke it down a little bit. I think people are looking at it the wrong way, where they think like um, you know the big dogs are going to be targeted every single week. I don't believe that. I mean, it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. I mean, obviously, if you're in the middle and you're the bottom, you want to take out the big dogs of the team because you know you don't want them winning. But as the big dog on one team, you want to keep him or her on the other team. You want to keep the big players on the, in the game so you're not seen as much as a big player. You're going to start seeing alliances on both sides coming together, like three people from this side, two people from this side controlling the game. And I like that. I like that a lot. Yo, Keenstein, what's up, man? Volume's overrated for a podcast. Yeah, you're right. Seven for seven, both captains on both teams are saved. No veto. One team is safe, six eligible for eviction. Every player votes. Yeah, but that's like a very, very basic description of it yes so seven versus seven uh both captains are safe for this week there is no veto this week i think they should have put a veto in to me that was a mistake that was a mistake so um i don't see it as seven versus seven i see it as seven people are on the team to keep themselves safe okay so basically it's like whoever wins is safe you're playing on a team to keep yourself safe but the game is still there like you're not it's not a team it's a team to keep you safe but you could still they're going to be alliances for you know forming from both sides you know what i mean um, you know, I, I like it. I really like it a lot, to be honest with you. 
I think the twist is great for strong players to work together on both teams. I think it's going to bring a lot of people together and force them to work together. Uh, from the weak, even the weak players, man. Even the weak players, dude. And I say weak, I mean like considered weak. You know, at the bottom of the. Because of the, here's the thing. I said this earlier. If you're, if you okay, if your team loses, you want to keep your team strong, right? You want to keep your team strong. So you're going to get rid of the weakest players, the, the weakest players on your team. Uh, but the weakest players know they're the weakest players. They're in danger, so they got to do something. And they're gonna. What are they gonna do? They're gonna go to the other team and be like, "Yo, my team wants to get rid of me. Keep me safe, and let's get out a big player." You know what I mean? It's gonna. It's gonna inter. It's gonna interchange and change up the fucking dynamics. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's phenomenal, dude. I think it's phenomenal. I have mixed feelings about it. I hope uh, there are lines between different people. Oh, guaranteed. CCB, guaranteed, man. I guarantee you, there's gonna be alliances. Uh, it's not just going to be these seven against not a chance not a chance if these guys have any idea how to play there's no way they're going to do that there's no way they're going to do that I just uh, I think just no veto for the week I think I, the, yeah they need to add the veto the veto is a very to me it's like you win as a team and then the losing team should play the veto against each other and then if you win veto there's no using it it's just you're safe you know what I mean I think that's I mean I don't know does the twist prevent them from throwing? Co- that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm saying, Panda. Okay, it what it does it, it makes everybody accountable. Like it makes everybody have to play because if you're considered weak on your team, you're going to be disposable. They're not going to want you around. Uh, so it's going to make you play or at least try. I mean, you can still listen. There's going to be ways to throw it. You're, sometimes you're going to want someone on your team to lose. You want them out. You're gonna lose. The, you're gonna try to make the comp- You're gonna lose the competition on purpose. There's gonna be so many different plays, and I love that. I think it adds so many layers to the game. Um, and I think I think a, a lot of people that don't like it, they're not seeing it the bigger picture. I think it's phenomenal for the game, and I think it's gonna bring a lot more. It's gonna bring the competitors out and everybody. It's gonna bring the drama out for the, and people love that. It's gonna bring the strategic game out because now you have to see where you fall in 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 line on who when when you're getting evicted. And what it's going to do is now you're like, yo, if I'm next on the challenge block, we got to switch things up. I got to jump ship, go to the other side. Maybe we get, you know, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, who do you, thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, who do you think is most likely to be evicted this week? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think it's going to be Jetson. I, 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 maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't think it is. I just have a feeling that they're Jetson and Tashawn are going to make some kind of a team. Okay. And not only that, but they're going to bring in two, three people from both sides and control the numbers, at least to keep them safe. Because they're going to be like, listen, guys, we're the big targets here. We're the big targets here. If we don't if we don't save each other and work together and help each other, they're going to pick us off. If your team loses, you're next. If I go home and our team loses, you're next. And that's, to me, for, to me, that is how they need to play the game, is they need the, the, the people that are in danger. And that's why the schoolyard pick, for me, is very bad for the the top player. You know what I mean? Because basically what it did was it tells them you're to me, you're the best player and then to to that person you're the best player and it ranks them. If you're getting picked first for your team, that's showing like yo, I see a I see you're the best player. I want to work with you. And then that you know and it's like ranking them as they go down to whoever's last. Um I don't think Jetson's going. I don't think Jet, I think that's the I think um everyone's going to assume Jetson's gone. I don't think they're doing it. To be very honest with you, I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, Jetson's not leaving from the edit. I think it will be Rohan. What? But what do you mean the edit? What do you mean the edit? Um, maybe, maybe. I, I mean, I don't think we saw too much of the edit. I don't think we saw much editing. So, um, but maybe. Jed is my first pick in my baby pool, and Beth was my female pick. I like, I like Beth. I do. I, like, I think she's got a she's, one. She's beautiful, but that's not, not why. I think she's got a good personality. Like you know, she has that that face, that like uh, welcoming face, very smiley. I like that. You know, I hope it's gonna be Rohan, but I feel like it could be Josh because he dropped first. Josh, Josh, Josh. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe they're gonna try to. This is what I'm saying, right? This is what I'm saying. So it's like. So the one team might say, okay, well, Josh dropped for like the team that lost. Okay, let's let's. I'm, I don't know if this is gonna happen. Obviously, I don't know. I don't know. But let's say the team that lost. They said, okay, well, Josh was the first to drop. Let's vote him out. If Josh catches wind of that, he, all he has to do is go to the other team and say, yo, listen, man, they're trying to vote me out. Keep me safe, and I'll I'll come work with you guys. I'll help you guys out. You vote the next person out. Let's all, and I'll vote with you. You all vote this way. I vote with you. And you know, obviously, he doesn't have all the power, but it's an it's a pitch. And then. So they switch to somebody else on the team. Why would they get rid of 
Why would the one team, the winning team, want to get rid of the other team's weakest player? Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You want to keep their weaker players in, and you want to go for their better players. Now, if the better players are smart, they're going to work together. So the I think the play is to get people out in the middle. I think the play here is to keep, and that's what I'm saying. There's so many layers. There's so many layers to this that I think the top people are going to keep each other safe and the bottom people are going to run to the other side to keep themselves safe. And I think the people in the middle are the ones that are going to be going. Uh, to me, that's the play. I don't know. Uh, yo, what's up? Uh, yo, uh, oh, I remember the name. What is it? Eight a Donut. Yes, Eight a Donut. I remember that, man. Yo, what's up, dude? Um, how long do we get HOH points? Oh, how do we age it? Yeah, dude, I have no... We might have to rework that whole draft. We might have to rework our whole draft because we got it. If you win HOH, you get points. The whole, half the house gets points. Now, we got we to gotta rework that. We got to rework it. Uh, this would be a great twist, I think, for an all-star season. I like I like it. I love it. I lived about 20 minutes uh, from our hometown for 12 years, but Team Destiny is not voting out the weakest player. Uh, I, we don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that, right? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. We, we don't know. We don't know yet. As someone who watched Survivor a lot based on Rohan's confessionals, he's getting a negative edit um, that is common in the first boots. Yeah, but dude, the, here, okay. I'm, I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain this, okay? The eviction hasn't even happened yet. You can't go off of Survivor. And I tell these people all the time, you cannot use Survivor as an example. The way they film and 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 edit and play Survivor, dude, they show you the episode six months later or three months later. They already so they know who wins the season before they even start editing the show together. So they have a thing where they call edit to justify. So they know the answer before they put together the question. You know, they know who wins the season and then they piece everything together. Where Big Brother, we don't know who's on the block. We don't well, we don't know who's gonna get evicted tomorrow. We have no idea. They're editing it right now, and it hasn't even happened. They're editing as they're playing. So you can't go by confessional. Dude, you can't do that. You can't. I'm going to tell you right now. Big Brother does not work like Survivor. You got you to gotta get that out of your head. Everybody, you got to get that out of your head. Get rid of that. Do not think that like that. Survivor, they, they know who wins, and then they piece it together to give you the answer. So, Big Brother, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. They... Whoever's going home is still in the house. They had an episode today, and the person going home is still in the house. They had, nobody knows what's going to happen. You can't have that mentality. You can't have that mentality with Big Brother. You can't. Um, has the luxury of having the... Yeah, there you go. Who, who just said that? Jaybird. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I feel so bummed. I fell asleep during the draft last night. No sweat. Uh, we might have to redo the draft. We might have to redo it. Uh, everyone votes. Tina votes if there's a tie. Yes. What I heard, boobs, okay, there we go. I just don't like how half the house is uh, completely safe. It's good for two, three weeks. See, I like I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that you work as a team. Uh, I like that uh, for the support. Appreciate you. Plus, the time survivor uh, weeks are three days. A week is forever. MBB, I was reading Hamster Watch tweets, and it sounds like it was only the losing team. I think I just read it wrong then. Um... All right, so uh, yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, guys, uh, we don't know who the target is. We we don't know who the target is. Maybe it's Rohan. I, I don't know, but we can't go by a, a half a second diary room uh, on the moving in. No, you can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. Um, slot night one's got to yeah. So uh, you know what? A little, you want to hear a little bit about that too? Um, okay, so when you the move in day, so having slot night one is is. is horrendous okay so move in day takes all day six o'clock in the morning they come get you out of your hotel you got to go uh you're sitting in a van for a couple hours then they bring you into a room for a few hours then you're backstage for a while then you get in the house and you're you know mingling this is all day i'll tell you right now move in day takes all day okay and um all day so a lot of times you're so nervous you can't even eat so they'll be like yo you want to you know the, the order or whatever you want chicken or whatever you're, you're eating it as you go uh, but sometimes people will be like, um, and this happened both times in both seasons because you talk to people and they're like, oh, I didn't even eat today because I was so nervous. I knew better. Actually, the first time I wasn't going to eat and my handler said, yo, eat something. And so I did. I listened to the person I was saying, he's like, eat something because you're with someone all day, right? He said, no, no, eat something. So I did. I wasn't going to eat because I was, I was just, I was so nervous. I, I couldn't eat. And, uh, and he's like, no, no, eat something, which was good because that night for three days, we had, we had nothing but slop in the house on season three. We had nothing but slop in the house. So, so there was people on season three that didn't even eat all day. And then they get in the house and all there is is slop. So, um, yeah, slop on night one 
is horrible because a lot of these people are probably so nervous or amped up or excited that they weren't hungry and then they get in the house and it's like yo now we have nothing to eat and they're going to be feeling that i'm telling you man it's not good um waiting for my honey to come eat has like groceries i love it yes uh yeah let's go i love her uh what is in slop it's uh basically it's like rolled oats unflavored protein flax seeds soybeans um i don't know do you, uh I don't know. Just it's 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 not good. It's it's horrible. It tastes like crap. Uh, the smell of it is horrendous. The taste of it's horrendous. The texture is horrendous. It's really really hard to eat. Uh, I promise you, it is not fun. I promise you, it's not good. I did it for like three weeks in a row. I think on season five, not good, not good. Uh, all right, rework the whole draft. Yeah, we have to change a lot. I don't know what to do. I don't know how we're gonna fix that. But we can't do a we can't do an HOA. We can't do that unless. Unless you want to just give the points to say Veronica, uh, was it Victoria? Because she won it. I don't know. Do you want to do something like that? I don't know. We got to figure it out. Uh, I think it's just for the week, but I don't know what the entire team, if the entire team is safe. Um, uh, doing good. Yo, that's what's up. The U S recipe is out there, but we can't slop is different. Yes. Yes. Our slop is different. Our slop is different. Uh, it's not oatmeal. No, 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 fan dude. No, 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 no. Everyone thinks that it is nothing. No, nothing like oatmeal at all. You got to get that out of your head. Nothing like oatmeal whatsoever, dude. No, 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 no. That's false. That is a that is a false statement that a lot of people believe. It is nothing like. I love oatmeal. It is nothing like oatmeal. Um, did you ever deal with Mike? Who? On your season, I went to school with him. I have no idea who that is. No idea. Bruno says it's way worse, though. From an older video, I remember him saying it's way worse. No, it's not oatmeal. I promise you it's not oatmeal. Like, do not. It is not oatmeal. No, that's a that's a common misconception about slop because it looks like oatmeal. It is nothing like oatmeal. I promise you don't. Nothing. No, t- doesn't taste like it. Doesn't smell like it. Doesn't have the texture of it. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No. Uh, my suggestion is we do 10 points for HOH winner, Victoria, three points for the winning captain, two points for being, uh, yeah, we can work it out. We got to work it out. We got to work it out. Has anyone ever liked slop? No, nobody's ever liked slop. Not that I have ever heard of. Uh, not that I've ever heard of. Yeah. So it's like oatmeal. Yeah, exactly. No, nothing like it at all. Minus for losing team. I feel like it's like oatmeal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, he was one of the production. He was one of the production handlers. He was with Sam on her journey. I mean, he could have been. I don't know. He could have been. There's so many. Uh, there's so many of them. Hicks. I have no idea. Um, there's so many different handlers and and people in production that. I mean, there's so many of them. But yeah. So so overall, let's see. The uh, the intros were good. The the two captains were good. I think I think Kiefer's uh, boys versus girls thing was a big yikes. No. Uh, Tina was having none of that. I think uh, Kiefer and Tina, um, a couple things. I think one, they had a, a they had a little bit of an advantage because one, they're the captains. They got to go in the house together alone. They got to bond together alone without anybody else there, just the two of them. They had a chance, a long, and that's a long time, by the way. It's not, you know, on the show, it's like a two-minute clip. They had a very long time. It, I'll tell you how it works. In between moving, like, you know how it's like a group of four goes in, then a group of four goes in, and then a group of four goes in. Um, uh, th- there's a big interval between. It could be half an hour between each group going in. Okay, On the show, it looks like one group goes in. And two minutes later, another group goes in. It's not like that. It could be like 30 minutes at least for the next team to come in. Okay, Next group of people to come in. So um, Kiefer and Tina had a lot of time to spend together alone in a room uh, that they can definitely, you know, talk things out and and there's nobody to interrupt them and i think that's a big advantage another thing too that i want to say is um you know we saw how uh i'll just use the 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 jedson and uh and and tashan where they they're like you could tell they were tight if you look at the episode they're always beside each other on the couch they're sitting beside each other they're always standing beside each other when they're talking in a group in every clip they're always beside each other talking to people together so um you don't think Kiefer and Tina saw that? Of course they saw that. Now, they don't hear what they're saying, but they see that those two boys are bonding and they're two big guys. And that could be like, yo, we got to break that up. I mean, you know, of course. So um, the, under, the undercover brothers is what they call each other, right? But that, what I'm saying is 
Kiefer and, and Tina are watching this. They're seeing their body language. If it's just, what if they see four people go in the pantry and they're like, yo, even hand, like, yo, we got to work together. Hand gestures, even though they can't hear them, they can see them, the body language. Maybe people are like shaking hands, like, yo, we got to work together. They saw all this, okay? So they have a huge advantage. They have a huge, huge advantage right now. Uh, Cause for, for all we know, they could have been watching them for two hours. We don't know. You know, we don't know because we only see a few a minute of it on, 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 the, on the show. But they could have been watching them for two hours, man. You know what I mean? Um, big advantage because they see the dynamics. Um, anyway, did you podcast with Karen? I did. So here's the thing. So I did it with Karen. We watched Karen and I watched the episode together. And then we did a podcast about it. The audio didn't record. Okay? The audio didn't record. So, which is a big rip. So I'm going to just talk about it a little bit here. And uh, tomorrow, Karen and I are going to try it again. We're going to test it during the day. We're going to figure out what's going on, and um, we're going to go from there. But yeah, big. Re- it was a gr- it was a great pod. I'm telling you, it was a phenomenal podcast. Uh, but the audio didn't pick up. So anyway, it is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna pick up tomorrow. We're gonna talk about it tomorrow, and uh, and uh, it is what it is. So uh, I don't know where Kyle fits in, Kyle. Is gonna think he's with the bros, but really gonna be on the outside most likely. We don't know. We don't know. For all we know, maybe he he's like, yo, man, maybe he's a smart. Listen, I, I think you guys are sleeping on. I mean, I, I don't know him either. He could be garbage for all. I know. He could be a horrible player. I don't know. But I don't know if you guys. I don't know who picked this up and who didn't pick this up. But in his bio video, he's wearing a veto necklace, but the American veto necklace. So he's watched the show before. He's he know. Listen, if you own. A veto necklace. You're a fan of the show. Not only that, he was wearing an HOH robe. So he has an HOH robe on and an American veto necklace on. This guy knows the show. You can't sleep on him. I think he knows the show, man. I think he knows the show. That's twice now. What's that? Yeah, twice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he seemed to kind slid into the middle, kind of slip into the middle spot with Jed and Ty. Who's to, oh, Tashaun. Okay, uh, taking heat off him. I yeah, I don't know. And and here's the thing too, right? Uh, he fell off in the competition kind of near the middle. Was that on purpose? I kind of think it was. I kind of think he fell off in the middle somewhere because he knows. He's like, yo, listen, I'm not a big dog. I'm not seen as a threat here. The threats are obviously going to be those the, the two big boys or it could be someone on the weaker side. I think he's – I think he's I, – I don't know. I, I could be totally wrong, but I have a feeling he kind of let go of that on purpose. I could be wrong. Um I, uh, Kyle and Beth will be an alliance. Mark my words. Alberta and stick together. There you go. I love seeing the other Kyle Moore's tweets watching the show since this is first. Oh, really? I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't know he watched it. I wonder if he threw the HOH. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, I think he did, but I don't know. I mean, we, none of us know, right? I think he did. I think it was smart for him to not care to win and he wasn't going to show that he was strong and it didn't show that he was weak. He was somewhere in the middle. And I think that was the right move, man. I, I mean, maybe he tried his hardest. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm making an excuse for him. But uh, to me, I think where he went out was at a good spot. It wasn't near the end, so it didn't show like he was one of the top dogs. And uh, it wasn't at the beginning, so it doesn't show that he's you know weak and not, not helping the team. Um, Rohan, I think, left like near the end. I think Rohan fell in a spot where he's seen as a strong enough threat, but at the same time, um, uh, not not good. You know, and I, and I agree. Listen, I, I I Rohan's probably listen. I don't know what he's like around these people. I don't know what is what is. Um, you know, vibes are if people are liking him, if they're not liking him, if he's social, if he's turtled, we don't know. But mark my words, I'm gonna say right now to me, Rohan is gonna be a flop this season. Period. I've been calling it from the start. Maybe he's the best player to ever play. I think, I think he's playing it up, and I don't think he's half of what he's trying to say he is. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, Kyle's low key in a good spot. I think so. I, I, we don't know. Apparently, the other Kyle Morris said he only watched the two seasons you were on. No shit. <laughs> well, he's got good taste, man. He didn't waste any time. He didn't waste his time on those other crappy seasons. Uh, what if Rohan on feeds just praises you nonstop? Hey, man, don't care. Don't care, man. Don't don't care. Thank you, but don't care. I mean, he probably won't, man. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like when the players claim themselves to be whatever. I don't like that. I'm the villain of the season. Says who? He comes out in his bio. He comes out in his bio. And he's like, I'm the villain of the season. Says who? Says you? Okay. It doesn't work that way, buddy. It doesn't work that way. You can't just claim that you're the villain of the season. You don't even know who's in the house. It doesn't work. Listen, I have a, listen, 
You can't, it just doesn't work that way. When you go in the house, he's going to come face to face with his opponents. He's going to come face to face with big personalities, and he's going to he's going to realize that he's not the big bad wolf in there. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. I'm telling you from experience. It doesn't matter what you say or do on the outside. It doesn't matter. It's when you go in the house. That's what matters. And he can say whatever he wants on the outside. As soon as the door is closed behind him, that's what matters. What he says there. I don't care what he says in his bio. It doesn't matter. Um, if I was on this season, I would be on the feeds talking about Bruno's hog and plugging the shit. You better be. You better be, Hicks. Uh, don't forget to sink your steps. Yes, don't forget to sink your steps. Uh, week one always feels like the time uh, where literally anything can happen once to get a better. Oh, ep- listen. Episode, episode one it gives you no information. It's just moving day bios and HOH comp. And that's it. We don't know who's getting along. We don't know who doesn't get along by tomorrow. By tomorrow's episode, we already know. We already know where the lines are drawn. You're going to know. So people have to pick sides tomorrow. You're going to get starting the, you're going to get some of the answers tomorrow because now people have to pick a side. You know, and with this new twist, which I love, the reason why I love this twist is because there's so many layers and, uh, dude, there's six people up for eviction. There's six people up for eviction. That's a lot of people to choose from. Now, everyone's going to want to push their own agenda, right? Everyone's going to be like, well, I don't like this person or this person's my competition or my threat or whatever. They're obviously going to want them out, but someone else will be like, yo, I want this. How do you come to a, you know, you have six people to choose from. It's a lot. It's a lot, dude. Six people to choose from. Like everyone's gonna want their own agenda, right? Push their own agenda. Um, when you saw them walk through the first doors entering the house, does that give you chills? Yeah, I'll tell you, man. Um, walking in the house. Actually, Karen and I were talking about this. Um, walking, getting on stage and walking in the house. Man, those are uh, those are some great moments, man. When you see that door open and you walk to set, I, I still I can still hear the sound of that door in my ear. I can still hear the sound of that door in my ear. Um, that's a moment I'll never forget. Being on stage, seeing the lights, hearing the crowds, that's a moment I will never forget. Both times. The second time was even crazier, man. The crowd went nuts. Uh, I'll never forget that, man. Um, yeah, it's... it's uh, when you walk in the house and the door opens and you see the lights on the inside and that when you... when As soon as you step in the house, it's like it's game time, you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. As soon as you step in the house, you just it, this weird feeling like it's like you just you feel it right away. Um, yeah, I'll never forget that. Never forget that. Uh, it was like that in season six for the first week as well. What's that? Uh, tomorrow with the edits and gameplay will give me a much better idea. Yeah, ex- exactly. Tomorrow. So tonight, episode one. You can't like you can assume when we can play the, the the game, the fun game, right? Okay, we think this is gonna happen, of course, but we have zero idea. Like. Tomorrow, man, it could be someone that we don't even think of that's going home. It's just that we have no idea what's going on. We have no idea. Uh, Thursday, Monday is too long between episodes. So much will happen on live feeds. Oh, absolutely. Every day, every day, every hour, things can change. And and, and I know it's kind of overused, but I'm telling you. It's like taco dip. So many layers. Yo, Wolfman, what's up, baby? Uh, how far from walking on stage to walking in the house is a long way? Okay. The, on season three, it was. Season three, it was like a, a two-minute walk. You go in those, so you know on stage, you walk, you know, they're on stage. It's like, okay, go in the house and that door opens and you walk in and the door closes. That's just like a little drop. That's just like a little set. There's On the other side is nothing. It's literally like there's nothing on the other side of it. The door closes, now you're just, you see production and shit back there. Um, all right, give me one sec. We got stream errors. Give me one sec here. Um... Any preseason? Where am I? Any preseason favorites? Uh, pre- I, I love Tara. I love Beth. Uh, to Sean, I like. I don't. It's, it's so hard with this twist, though. I don't know how it's gonna play out. Uh, I like Beth. I like Deshaun. I like Tara. I like um, uh, Jedson. I like uh, Latoya. I like. I like. A, you know, to be to be very honest, I like a lot of them. I like a lot of them. I do. I like a lot of them. I can't help it. Uh, I think they're. I think it's a really good cast. I think there's a lot of potential, and uh, there's just a couple I don't really care for. But other than that, man, I, I love this cast. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right, perfect moves. Uh, I miss. Right, was okay. There we go. What was more intense, the first or second time walking in the house? 
That's a gr- yo, cool kid rock crock. That's a really good question. That's a really, really good question, man. Uh, give me one. Uh, and in season six, they did have a heaven and hell where seven were protected. Yes, yes, it was only a one week. I think this is a, no, this is more than one week. This is more than one week because the bedrooms are considered are called team defender, team thing, and they voted a candidate voted on captains. To me, this is not a one week twist. I don't think it's a one week twist. Okay, what was more intense? Um, you know, I'll tell you, on season three, my nerves were, I was more nervous because I didn't know what the fuck to expect. Season five, I was more like confident about it, but yo, man, I was amped, man. I was amped. Season five, I was amped, man. Uh, season five was my favorite, man. Just uh, season five was good. I like season five entrance for sure. Uh, preseason favorites. Yeah. Like I said, Tara, uh, Tina, I think Tina, listen, I think Tina, people are, listen, I don't think she's going to be like the greatest player. Like Kevin says, he thinks he's going to be the greatest Canadian player to ever play. He's got to be trolling. I don't believe it, but, um, I think she has that personality to get her far. Okay. Will she win? I mean, maybe, uh, you know, why not? But best strategic player to ever play? I don't see it, man. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. Uh, where do we think Marsha is this season? Uh, you know what? Maybe the Expedia room? I don't know. Maybe the... Uh, I don't know. Usually, Isn't Marsha usually in the hallway between uh, uh, the DR thing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the... Maybe the um, the uh, Expedia room, whatever they're calling. I don't know what they're calling it this year, but that room. Uh, great answer. Uh, I would love if they came in, but I think it might be too late already unless they did as a replacement. What's, what's, oh, I missed something. What's that? I think I missed that question. Cool kid. What's that? Uh, let me see. I think I missed your uh, question. Oh, yeah. How far? Uh, sorry. Uh, Keenstein, you asked me how far is it to walk uh, from the stage to the house? That's a very good question. So on season three, because they switched um, um, warehouses, they switched buildings, okay? But on season three, it was like a two-minute walk. It was far. It was far. It was far. So um, uh, you basically, when you're on stage and they open that door, we walk through the door, the door closes behind us, and then there's a bunch of production behind the door. And they're like, okay, come with us, everybody. Nobody talk. You're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to talk. Everyone line up. You're not allowed to talk. Line up, line up. And then you follow production. There's production in front, behind you, beside you. There's production everywhere. And they walk you to the house. On season three, it was like a two-minute walk. On season five, the door was like maybe 20 seconds away. It's close. So uh, the audience is very close to where the house guests are sitting, uh, where they're waiting to hear the votes and stuff. Very close. You can actually hear. So like when when Netta, and uh, this is burned in my brain, when Netta got evicted, I can still hear her cry. She shrieked. Like she like shrieked. And I can still hear that in my in my head, dude. Like it was, you can hear it perfectly fine. She wasn't far. She wasn't far. You and Karen, captains in season five, who would be your first picks? Um, I would have pretty much gone for all the vets uh, because you know their game. You know they can play. Uh, my first pick would, would be Kev, would, without a doubt, would be Kev. Netta would be up there. Uh, Aika would have been up there. Uh, maybe Dimitri. It's hard because I know how they play now, but... Uh, yeah, it's hard to say, but definitely Kevin, Netta, and Ika would have been my three for sure. I would have; those would have been my top. If if you can, if I could get them, those would be my top three. And that's even before I even know how the season plays out. And and uh, you know, it's just those would be my top three. Those would be my top three because out of the game, actually, to be honest with Netta, I don't know because me and Netta weren't friends before season five at all. Uh, Ika and I were very close before season five. Kevin and I weren't friends before season five, but I wanted to work with him when I saw him in the house. Uh, would I have been picked cast? No. Never, no, not a chance. Uh, yo, what's up, Harrison? What's up? I would not have picked Cass. No shade. Just, um, I, I just know how her style is. Like she'd cut you in. The, like you know, you don't, you don't want people on your team that you know would turn on you in a dime. You don't want that on your side. You know, you want that on the other side. So you want, you want someone like that on on the other team. So they're kind of disrupting their own team and while they're helping your team. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't want those 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 kind of players on your side because they're gonna they're gonna be the crack in your team, which which she was on season five. She was the crack in the vets. Uh, you know what I mean? So yo, Shia, what's up? See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. 
Um, but yeah, yo, Shy, what's up, baby? Um, that's a good question, Keith. Like, he's, he's asked a couple. Yo, he's got some good questions, man. He's got some good questions. So anyway, um, overall thoughts on the on the episode, man. Good episode. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the twist. I lo- I know a lot of people at first were like, oh, I don't like the team twist. I think it brings if you give it a chance, if you give the team twist a chance and watch it play. It, now it could not play out the way I see it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm giving it too much credit, which could be right. I could be giving this. This team twist, way too much credit. It could end up being boring. It could end up being like, yo, let's just fire off at their biggest guy. We win again next week, take out their next biggest guy. Win again next week, take out their next, or girl. I'm just saying, you know, person. I say guy, I mean person. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it could be a bore. It could be boring. I mean, maybe they do it that way. I don't know. I'm just assuming. I don't have the answers. I don't know. Um, I need to watch BB Can tomorrow. Well, then you're in the wrong stream, dude, because we're literally doing a podcast about it. <laughs> so if you're saying don't talk about it, no spoilers, you're in the wrong place, my friend. We're literally talking about it uh, right now. So yeah, you might want to go somewhere else for the next little bit, dude, uh, to be honest. I think when we look back, we will say, yeah, uh, that was a good launch. Oh, amazing. This was a good episode. This was a phenomenal episode. Uh, phenomenal. The guy says, don't spoil it. We're literally in the middle of doing a podcast about it. We got to change the subject. Yo, Harrison, no problem, dude. We're going to just change it up right now. <laughs> the guy comes, he's like, yo, don't talk about it, man. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Let's just end it right here. Not happening. Uh, all right. See you later, man. See you later, Harrison. Talk to you tomorrow, man. Uh, all right. Uh, I need to watch you can tomorrow. Yeah, I think we look back. Yes, I think it's a good one. Will Arissa ask... Better eviction questions now that she's a producer. That you know, that's a good question. Yo, take care, Harrison. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, that's a good question. I, I you know, um, it's funny. We wa- okay. So here's the thing. You gotta be. You gotta be. You gotta. You gotta think of it this way too, right? We watched episode. Uh, we watched an episode of Big Brother Canada one yesterday or the day before, and um, on stream, and Arissa buried um, uh, Alec and Topaz at the first eviction. She's basically saying like openly like, yo, you guys are a showman. You know, you guys are getting close. And they're like, yo, what are you talking about? You know, yo, the, the questions she asked have to be very vague. She can't give information away. So the, the on season one, she basically told the whole house like, yo, Alec and uh, and Topaz, how's your showman's going? You guys are cuddling all the time. You're always hanging out. You're, and they're like, what are you talking about? And she's like, oh, come on now. And, and Topaz is like, yo, 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 no, 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 this is nothing. There is, she's literally calling them out. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. Uh, so I think that's why she has to keep her, her questions very vague. So it doesn't give anything away. Uh, she was so direct on season. Oh yeah. Holly. Absolutely. She's like, uh, you know, talking about their showman. So like, yo, relax. What are you talking about? And they're like, no. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, oh, it was cr- now. So that's what I mean. So she has to keep it very vague where it's not like, um, she can't give anything away. She can't even like hint that, oh, there's a show. Unless like it's known information. She can't really do that. Um, what if she's like, hey, undercover bros? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yo, uh, to Sean and, and Jensen, yo, how about that undercover brothers alliance you made? Uh, how's that going? You know what I mean? It's like, uh, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Or like, Latoya, yo, you're a cop. You didn't want the house to know. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Why aren't you letting the house know that you're a cop? And she'd be like, uh, what? You know, you can't do that, right? Um, um, season one was my first season. I think I was 13 when that came out. Yo, season one is phenomenal we're watching we're wa- we're gonna watch an episode t- well, you guys yo i'm gonna talk to alec alec said he was gonna come join us tonight we're gonna watch an episode i know it's a lot of big brother the last couple days uh we're gonna watch an episode of big brother canada season one alec is gonna come join me on the mic and uh we're gonna talk about it uh dude he's hilarious he's hilarious so we're gonna talk about it uh later on i'll, I'll text him and see what time works for him and we'll, we'll get him in here we'll get him in here uh yeah he'll come join us uh, I have been binge watching season one. She was so direct compared to now. Yeah, exactly. Slice was it? Or was it called Slice? Was it Slice? S- different beast. And plus, it was her first year. A lot of a le- lot of learning, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. She's like, "Yo, uh, why don't you want to tell me you're undercover cop?" <laughs> uh, imagine Julie doing that to be to Derek. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we're gonna get Alec in here, man. Hey, Latoya, why don't you tell him about being a cop? Yeah, exactly. Not not happening, man. Um, slice very different, very just the things that they that they said and aired and did and my my jaw hit the floor, dude. My jaw hit the floor when I rewatched it because I was like, yo, that uh, blew my mind 
different times. 2013, you know. I mean, I, not that long ago, but you know, long, long ago. Uh, all right. So slice was so different. I don't think anyone here is ever disappointed. We're talking about BB. You know, of course. Yo, Kev, what's up, baby? I watched it last summer for the first time. I think Alec was my favorite from that season. Dude, Alec is fin- he's a good friend of mine. He comes in here. We play all the time. He's a great, great dude. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for uh, this video. Uh, I'm going to cut it off there. Uh, We did go on for about another hour. It was a really, 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 really good podcast. But, you know, I don't want to make these two-hour videos. So I'm going to end it there. We talked enough about the season. I personally love the twist. I think the twist adds a lot to the table, brings a lot to the table, brings a lot to the show. Uh, Great, great, great twist. I I think there's potential for a lot of game moves and gameplay because of it. Um, but I want to say thank you guys for, for watching. If this is something you really enjoyed, uh, I do go live on Twitch every single night. You see, where is it? Right here. Uh, right there. It says Capone Gaming. Um, that's my channel. Twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming, just like you see it right there. Uh, I do go live pretty much every day, 9 p.m. Eastern, except for Saturday nights. And, uh, you know, we just have a lot of fun. We, we talk Big Brother. We don't have to talk Big Brother. But uh, you're going to meet a lot of, uh, of people that, that enjoy the show in there. And uh, we just like to have fun. We have a good time with things. So if that's something you're interested in, come on by. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, if there's things you want me to add in it, things you didn't, you know, things maybe to take out of there for next time. Um, but, yes, let me know what you think. Let me know who you like. Let me know about the captain's twist. Um, let me know... Uh, what you think of the house, everything. Let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to get to know. I'll respond to each and every single one of you. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate the support, guys. So make sure you smash that follow button. Make sure you smash that like button. And leave that comment. And uh, be ready to see more of these podcasts in the future. We'll chat soon. Peace.